What's up, mamas? I'm Rebecca. You're watching the Reseller Mom Show. Thanks for joining me today for another What Sold Everything on eBay. eBay has been so slow for me, but I'm going to share the sales that I do have from July 7th through July 13th. I also did a video separately for my Poshmark sales, so if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out as well. Um, they're both going to go live at the same time, and I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to find July 7th. eBay was absolutely atrocious this week so uh, first we start with this new without tag simply styled faux vegan leather motorcycle jacket that sold for $27.30 plus shipping also know I have now charging shipping for everything so whether it's first class padded flat rate priority it's all getting charged shipping I don't know if that's the reason why doing that switch over made everything slow, or maybe it is just summer slowdown. Maybe it's for the fact that my listings have been scaled way back lately due to photographer time off, my upcoming time off, just all kinds of nonsense going on. Um, so this isn't the best example of life right now, but it's very real, so check it out anyway. Next up was an, an order that I did have to cancel, unfortunately, because I had it listed and I did not have it in this size. It was one of those styling company Macy's liquidation items. So I must have sold it, you know, and just had a mix up with the listing and the size still being listed when it shouldn't have. Next up is one of my boutique items, which don't often sell on eBay, but every once in a while they do. And so this was great because it's my convertible swim cover up that sold for $20 plus shipping. This was a Halloween costume, just like a little baby horse um, Halloween costume. And this was left over from last year. And I recently put together a list of all of the old costumes so that my virtual assistant will relist them and make them fresh again for this season. And by accident, she actually um, deleted one and needed to relist it anyway. So I think just freshening it up in that way it did you know, generate the sale. So it, it was still at last year's old dropped price. As the relist would have happened this year, I would have listed it for a little bit higher, but whatever, it's fine, $12 plus shipping. It's one less costume in my store and it will make some little child happy. Next up is a Fabletics um, romper and this only sold for $10 um, plus shipping, but again, with eBay specific, I mean really with all of my sales, I feel like have been very slow. I'm super down, not emotionally, but down sales wise. <laughs> and so um, I'm just kind of like swinging at anything that I get at this point. So um, don't judge me, don't judge my prices. Everybody does what they have to do. And this went for $10 plus shipping. This is one of my newer Macy's liquidation items and this sold for $9.75 plus shipping. Even at this price, I'm still making a decent profit, so I was fine to let that go for that price. Another boutique item did sell. Um, again, you know, it's hit or miss with eBay and my boutique items, but this sold for $20.30 plus shipping. And so basically that was, I'm pretty sure, a full price sale. I can't remember. Um, Next up is this Limited America Vintage High Waist Skort, and I thought this would have done well, but it hasn't. It's been sitting for a while, so I did take an offer on that just for $10 plus shipping. Here we go with another costume. This is a princess medieval dress, um, a girl's size 12 to 14, and that sold for $15 plus shipping. This is one of the new arrivals of my boutique swimwear that I have, and I was able to get an amazing price on this, and I ended up ordering 77 of them. So if you are a size extra large <laughs> and you um, would like this bathing suit, let me know because I've got plenty of them and you can get a great deal. Um, so this one sold, I think, with only a, within a day of being listed on eBay. Um, and again, it's a multiple quantity listing, which I love. It sold for $10 plus shipping. Here we are, uh, a pair of Athleta shorts. And, you know, Athleta is one of those things that I pick up all the time, but it does not sell for a lot and it doesn't sell as quickly as I think it used to. Um, but I'm not always finding the best, most valuable pieces. So I do still pick it up, but I'm not expecting a lot out of it lately. Um, so I sold this for $10 plus shipping just for a pair of shorts. This was an interesting one, new with tags, um, you know, just kind of an open knit sweater, vest, not vest, um, you know, sleeveless sweater, and uh, it sold for $15.20 plus shipping. I got that at the bin, so that was great. 
here's one of the not so great ones. I don't know why I bought this. This is, I don't know, in my opinion, not very cute. I don't know why I bought it. Um, but it's one of those ones that like has the all over print, but then it has those slits and cuts in it to where it's not a slit in the fab fabric itself, but it's a slit in the print. I don't know. I don't get it. So I let that go for $8 plus shipping. This was a good one. I actually think this came in a fashion maids box, if I'm not mistaken, because it's a new with tag signature, which is the Nordstrom thing. So I'm pretty sure that's where it came from. So glad that something from those fashion maids box sold and it sold for $27.30 yeah, $27 plus shipping. This is a vintage little denim shirt dress. Um, and I had it, you know, kind of going for that vintage look and it sold for $20.30 plus shipping. So interesting, life is good. This is the last one. Um, life is good is a good brand and it's an expensive brand and it sells quickly. It just doesn't sell for a ton, but every time I put something life is good up, it sells relatively quickly. So um, that just sold for $10 plus shipping. But again, I was happy to let that go, you know, pretty quickly. So not a lot of eBay sales this week. I wanted to try to also squeeze in my Mercari sales into this video, but it's really difficult to see on the app what sold when. Um, so I don't, I can just show you a few generally. So in this week, um, the Reformation bodysuit sold and that sold for $25. And one of the Macy's brands up at top, the new with tags styling company shirt that sold. And I'm pretty sure that was for $12. And then I have a few in progress, um, but see, none of these dates are right. So the cotton on maxi dress sold, and that sold, oh, that sold on seven. So that's the problem. it's just really hard to see. So I had some decent sales on Mercari, at least one to two a day. Um, it's just difficult to show you. And so again, I should have my custom spreadsheet done and back to where I can make sense of all of this in the next two weeks. Um, I'm hoping it might be into August, but at least I'm still sharing with you everything that's sold so you can get an idea of what's really going on over here. And I gotta tell you, <laughs> it's not that exciting, um, but it's, it's mine, it's sales, and it's okay. Um, so I don't get too down about it. I just am trying to focus on things I can do to help improve it, and that's all you can do. So thank you so much for watching another episode of What Sold on the Reseller Mom Show. Please subscribe and like this video for more Reseller Mom content to get more done, make more money, and stay sane while raising kids and reselling online. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.